Hey everybody, it's Joanne Peck, Ask Mama Joe. Um, it's good to see everybody today. I hope you've had a beautiful day full of, well, I hope it's been a good day. I hope you've had a lot of love and joy, maybe some free hugs, maybe met some goals. If you've had a tough day today, my heart's with you. Um, one of the reasons I haven't been here in a while is because I have had a few tough days myself. Um, had some losses, lots of grief, um, but I'm back and I'm here to talk to you all today about something that has been on my mind for a few days. Um, I have shared before um, that I suffer from food addiction and um, I'm a gratefully recovered bulimic as well. And so I don't know um, if you all are aware, but my top weight um, was 260 pounds and I was a size 26 and I have been um, uh, anorexic as well. Um, in the past um, and it's kind of been a lifelong thing I believe I was born a food addict um, my father who's um, uh, every night he would sit in his big chair after he ate a full meal my mother cooked he would sit in a big chair with pretty much another meal and a few desserts and say tonight I'm gonna eat this and tomorrow I'm gonna stop start my diet so I think I was probably born with addiction mine just manifested itself as food okay and so, um, one thing that I notice a lot of, um, and I have noticed for years now, it just seems to be getting worse, is there's a quick fix when it comes to somebody who is um, suffering from a food addiction. Um, they're o overweight, um, and um, they're out of shape, and they just don't love themselves. They don't like their bodies, um, and they feel like the only answer to get happiness is to lose the weight and get the perfect body. And of course, we have up teen, um, beautiful fitness queens and kings out there who, um, you know, swear to us if we just eat what they eat and drink what they drink and work out the way that they do, that um, we can have the same body they've got. And, and I, you know, I'm not knocking anybody. If you're a good fitness instructor, um, and you've worked hard to get where you're at, you're fine. But in reality, um, you would be surprised. A lot of these people have their own eating disorders and issues, and some of them have even had plastic surgery to change their bodies. So a lot of times when we're looking to, um, you know, celebrities or social media to find a solution to a problem, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional, just remember that the people that are telling you how to fix the problem have their own issues, okay? But the good thing about that is people can support each other in a big way. And all I know is, is that to conquer my food addiction um, on a day-by-day -day basis, to not be bulimic anymore, and I haven't practiced bulimia now in, um, in 19 years, um, and to love my body, I had to learn to love myself. And I had to do that at, at um, my last high top weight and that again was around um, 260 pounds back in 1990 um, and uh, I can remember that as little as I was at times in my life I was never happy I thought oh all I have to do is lose the weight and I'm gonna be great never happened and no matter how small I got at one time I was actually anorexic um, I saw myself as fat how many of you can identify with that um, I have body dysmorphia, something fierce, and um, I kind of have to rely really on other people to sometimes tell me, you know, what my body looks like, um, and also the size of my clothes and everything. But I remember the first time I ever loved myself, I was over 200 pounds, and, um, and I, it was the most beautiful feeling in the world. Um, all of a sudden... I could see myself for the person I really was and um, and I didn't want to be that way but the thing was I loved myself at that way and it had never happened before um, the other thing that I wanted to point out is that there is no quick fix if you have been battling your weight off and on for years or um, if you have been dealing with an eating disorder on and off for years you're not going to resolve that in a short period of time and that's what society wants you to believe that there's these quick fixes and 
and um, and just you know just buy this or do that and everything's going to be okay. It's not true. Um, you you know you can it can take years. You if you're obese, you didn't get that way overnight, and you're not you're not going to lose all that weight and fix your mind, your body, and your soul in a short period of time either. And so you have to allow yourself that amount of time because you have to learn how to love yourself, accept yourself, and then develop the willingness to do something different um, and, and change your, your mind, body, and soul so you can get to a healthy weight and become healthy in all three levels and, and have a life full of joy, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is love yourself. The second thing I want you to do is remember that it's going to take time to do this and allow yourself that and feel gratitude over that. It doesn't mean that you get to keep overeating um, or binging because you know it's going to take time. It means that you're moving towards eating well and getting it to a healthy weight and a healthy body over time and not using it as time as an excuse to still overeat. Does that make sense? So, um, love yourself and give yourself time. Get out of the mindset that, you know, if you just do this, you're going to lose 90 pounds in um, 90 days and your life's going to be perfect. Um, recognize yourself as a real human being with a real food addiction or a real eating disorder. And then be willing to open yourself up to, um, to change that. Um, sometimes it's baby steps. You know, over the years, there were foods. I can look back when I first really started on this journey. I joined, I joined Overeaters Anonymous in 1992, which is a free 12-step program. And, um, and I can remember there were foods that I ate back then every night. And they were, I mean, to me, they were, you know, my foods. And I just loved them. And then I remember after a couple years of working the 12 steps and being in program, that I noticed that a lot of those foods that I thought I couldn't live without, I just had stopped eating and I wasn't even aware of it. And that has continued to happen over the years because sugar is my drug and um, I still have slips and slides, but I'm learning more and more every day how to live without um, sugar. And, you know, sugar is delicious. I love it. But I've also learned that I used to think I was addicted to sugar, but uh, what, I, what I've learned is I'm probably addicted more to fat in foods because I could not, you know, um, an addict can't do without their drug. So if I was really addicted to sugar, I would sit down and eat a whole bag of sugar, um, you know, without stopping. And I, I can't even imagine doing that. But, um, you know, in everything sugary that I eat, there's also a lot of fat. So, um, and then if you, you know, white flour or carbs, well, they're full of fat too, um, for the most part. So I believe I'm addicted to fat more than anything. And I'm learning very quickly how I can live without sugar and stay within the dietary daily guidelines, um, for, for sugar, if I even have it at all. Um, so I'm willing. So you can, you know, there I know you're sitting there thinking, oh, I can't live without this food. I can't live without that food. You can. But the thing is, you don't have to live without it forever. Um, I would never tell anybody, don't ever eat that again. But what I would say is, if this is giving you a problem, try and back off from it for a while. Or even if you're having it every day, try and whittle that down to, if you're having it seven days a week, go to five days a week. Then go to three days a week. Then go to one day a week. There, you know, there's no need to ram this crap down your own throat because the reality is, again, to make any change, it takes time and you have to love yourself enough to allow that amount of time. So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to set a goal to look at yourself in the mirror sometime today preferably right when you get off this video. And I want you to look at all the beautiful things about yourself. Maybe you have beautiful eyes. Maybe you have a cute little nose. 
Maybe you have beautiful hair. And I want you to just recognize that in yourself. And then I just want you to tell yourself that it's okay to love yourself. No matter what anybody's ever said or done to you that made you feel worthless or what you've said or done to yourself to make yourself feel worthless, stop. Just look at yourself and, and, and just tell yourself, you know what? I love you. I accept you. And I'm so grateful that we are who we are today. And then I want you to start thinking about allowing yourself time. If you're trying to get over an eating disorder or food addiction, you cannot look behind you and you cannot look ahead of you. You have to stay in today, one day at a time. So if you need, you need to break it down because, you know, when we're addicted to food or we're overweight and we're trying to get to a healthy weight, we're trying to change ourselves, we tend to look you know, way ahead, you know, um, in three months, I'm going to be perfect. You know, in two months, I'm going to be rich, whatever. Don't do that to yourself. And don't look at your past either, because your past is already gone. And God's already forgiven you for anything you did in the past. You just need to forgive yourself. So live in today. And that's a start. That is a start. And you wouldn't believe how you can make a huge difference in your life with these little bitty changes. I promise you that, okay? So if you have any questions or you need any support from me, comment below um, and I will reach out to you. Um, please uh, uh, leave, you know, leave an email address, some way I can get in touch with you. You can visit my Facebook page as well, Ask Mama Joe, and leave me a private message. And, um, and I promise I will get back to you, and I promise that I will talk to you, okay? So that's what I wanted to speak to you about today. Um, you know, you are perfect where you are at right now, and no matter if you weigh 600 pounds or 90, but you just, you just don't want to get stuck there. And so together, we can move, and we can make changes, and we can get better. Thank you for listening. I love y'all lots. I'm glad to be back. You have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.